everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Have you ever wondered what the best theme park pizza is? We have two, and today we're gonna go to all four of the major Southern California theme parks. We're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna try all the best pizza in the theme parks, and hopefully we're gonna get an answer. So why don't you come with us on, on this adventure? First up in Disneyland, we're gonna to head to Tomorrowland where they have the Alien Pizza Planet. This used to be Red Rocket's Pizza Board, which was part of the 1998 New Tomorrowland. Before then, it was part of the Mission to Mars and Mission to the Moon attraction. In 2018, Pizza Port was turned into Alien Pizza Planet as part of Pixar Fest promotion and became permanent. Walls inside used to feature attraction posters to old Tomorrowland attractions. Now it features attraction posters featuring the green alien men. If I have one criticism other than the food, it's they should have the claw machine in there. I think like every kid would want to spend money to use the claw to get like one of the green alien men. Let's go try this out. First up, we're getting the mega pepperoni slice. This is a celestial tomato sauce topped with mozzarella cheese and extra large slices of pepperoni. I'm gonna be honest, we are not the biggest fans of Pizza Planet. I feel like the pasta is okay sometimes, but every time that I've ever had pizza here, it's never been the best. So I'm going in with an open mind today. You know, I, I'm not gonna play favorites of the places that I think are gonna be better than the others, but already looking at this, this is $8.50, and this is what you get. The pepperonis do look big. I, the last time I had this was so long ago, and it tastes exactly how I remember. There's just something about it that it, it doesn't feel fresh. It almost feels like a frozen take and bake pizza that you make at home, which I have no problem with. I eat those every once in a while, and they are good when you're in the mood for it. But coming to a theme park, I feel like you want to get like a good slice of pizza, or just good food in general, and I don't know if this is it. It's not like terrible. The flavors are okay. The pepperoni tastes good. But I mean, as you can tell, it just looks like a generic piece of pizza, right? I think I'm gonna give this a two out of five. Like if I was really hungry and was just craving like a piece of generic pizza, I would come to Pizza Planet and get this pizza, but it is nothing special and sad to report. I don't know, I was like hoping, and I'm like, I haven't been here in a while, maybe it'll be better than I remember, but sadly, it's not. And I decided to get the barbecue chicken pizza. This is diced chicken breast, red onions, barbecue sauce, and roasted corn and cilantro. And I gotta say, there's like three pieces of chicken? <laughs> That's just the slice that life hands you. You never know what you're gonna get. It's like, it's like a pizza. You never know which one you're gonna get. I mean, no sense. <laughs> is Pizza Planet the worst restaurant in all of Disneyland Resort? Let us know in the comments below. I want to know. I think it actually might be. But you know what? Maybe that maybe this will be good. Some might say that I'm a connoisseur of barbecue chicken pizza. Probably my favorite is the one from California Pizza Kitchen. This tastes like I'm eating cardboard with some oh, cheese no. on it. You know what Pizza Planet is? It's the Chuck E. Cheese of theme park restaurants. <laughs> Cause you get like the floppy pizza. Can I even review it without having one of the three pieces of chicken on here? No. The barbecue chicken pizza. Is this some of the worst pizza I've ever had? No. Is it one of the most mediocre pizzas I've ever had? Yes. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it one out of, one and a half out of five Peters. By the way, when, when I went to pick up my mobile order, the cast member behind the counter like had the green alien and she went boop, boop, and like he jumped onto the, the tray. I don't know, I thought that was cute. So the restaurant itself, I don't hate. It's just the food that comes out of the restaurant. We're here with our friend Christina and she's gluten free and she got the gluten free pizza here, which you love. Yeah, I like it because they cook it fresh, you get a good size, it's $8.95. You pay $8.50 for these other slices and they look terrible. The gluten free is <laughs> very good. It's freshly cooked, tastes great, good price. Why is it brown though? 
fire crust. It's not like stiff like normal pizza. It's softer, but I, I think it's just because of gluten-free crust, honestly. I mean, I love it, so five out of five. Is Whoa! But we got to try Daisy's though too. Yeah, so, yeah. That's so true. Then we'll figure that one out. <laughs> I've actually never gotten one of these. We had it like, no. question. One of the cast members came over and asked us about our little alien if we had named him yet. And Peter said his name is Kevin, and she's like, I'll be right back. And she came back with some honorary citizens of Disneyland pins, and she got one for Kevin. So now his name is Kevin. Even though I feel like that's like the name of a minion, but it's okay. He could also be named Kevin too. I'm liking this place more and more the longer we sit here. I've eaten almost all of my pizza at this point too. I just keep eating it, even though I gave it a two. I keep eating it for some reason. Might just be because I'm hungry. But I keep on telling her it's not worth the calories. Yeah, he keeps taking bites of his and saying it still tastes like cardboard. So that is true. It does still taste like cardboard, but yeah. Another cool thing about Pizza Planet is right outside at the Hypercool stand, you could get a soda or water and it shoots up like a rocket. I love it. It never gets old. I'm amused every single time. came to the Toontown opening a few weeks ago, this fountain was closed off. Now it's open and it's actually designed to play. So kids are encouraged to come and like splash around and it gets you wet. Like I was just standing next to it and I'm like soaking wet now. I feel like I rode Splash Mountain. This looks like a hidden Mickey. Do you think they did that on purpose? One of the Easter eggs we didn't point out last time we were here is if you look into the Toontown Hills, you'll actually see Walt's barn, a tribute to the man himself. I love how Toontown now is just so full of life. Not only is it super crowded in here still, but all the characters are walking around. Donald's over here playing Duck Duck Goose with a bunch of little kids. I would have loved that as a little kid. He's making memories for those kids that are gonna last a lifetime. It's just, it's so nice in here. I love it so much. Thanks. Oh, love it. <gasps> Look at the cheese. Look at the cheese. Look at that cheese pool. This is already a winner. One of the newest additions to Disneyland is back in Toontown at Cafe Daisy. There's what is called a pepperoni pizza flop over, and this has pepperoni, mozzarella, provolone, and tomato sauce. And spoiler alert, we've actually had this already. And I remember it being pretty good. This one looks even better than the one that we had before. It's like super cheesy and just look at that. It's kind of like a calzone or it's basically just like a little personal pizza that they folded in half and are calling it a flop over. But I'm not mad at it. So let's try it out to see if it's as good as I remember. What makes this awesome is all of the cheese in there. It is packed with cheese. Oh, baby. Oh. Baby. It's like a pizza that they just folded in half. You can get a nice cheese pull out of it. And if you open it up, there's actually a lot of pepperoni in there. There's at least like four or five huge slices. On the side here, they put like a, like a garlic kind of Parmesan. So that adds like a nice extra little bit of flavor there. I'm giving this a, a five out of five. I think that's what we gave it before. I don't remember, but this is good. It's so good. Like for Disneyland pizza, it's, it's top notch. We have a, an Ordinary Adventures pro tip. We heard that you could buy a side of the chili cheese sauce and dip your pizza in it. This is, could either be amazing or gross. I don't know. I mean, it looks gross, but I'm sure it'll taste good. <laughs> it's messy, okay? You just gotta come Either to Either we are geniuses, yeah. or this is gonna be gross. Yeah, this is a, a thing that we invented. I lied and I said that we heard that you should do this. I'm, I'm telling you right now, this is something that we just were like, we should get the, the sauce and dip it in there. Could be good. <laughs> or we're gonna pretend like we heard it elsewhere, if it was bad. So if it's good, we invented it. If it's not, you heard it somewhere else. Are we geniuses? Mm -hmm. We're geniuses. Come here, don't go to Pizza Planet. So Christina actually got the gluten-free version. I wonder how it compares to Pizza Planet. All right, I feel like I lied giving the other one a five because this is just 
excessively better. Just the crust is so much better. You can see it's like nice and thick. It's not just like some, some thin, sad cauliflower crust. It has the delicious little, uh, I don't know, Parmesan, garlic Parmesan on the outside. And it's just like packed full of goodies. Uh, this is an Ordinary Adventure star. Yeah. <laughs> I tried a bite of it. She's not wrong. It's really, really good. It's almost indistinguishable. Like you can't tell the difference between the two. They taste pretty much the same. Now inside of the gift shop in Toontown, they have a, a chubby shoulder pet. This is one of those like magnetic ones that sits on your shoulder. How cute is that? It's a chubby butt check. I feel like you need him. I know, I do need him. I kind of do need him. He's so cute. Last time we were here, they didn't have the remote control train set on display. Now they do. And I, do I need this for 150 bucks? I think I need it. I love that Chubby's in the front seat. These is just like hanging on the back. Let me out. Let me out! You just climb right through. The apple in my eye, the cream in my coffee. Oh! I hope I get a big surprise in today's meal. <laughs> Welcome to Mickey's Tomb Town. That's one big idea. You really should drop me a line sometime. I like it. Next up, we're going across the street to Disney California Adventure, and we're heading over to Pixar Pier to go to Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. This has been in Disney California Adventure since 2011. Before that, it was a place called Pizza O Mau Mau. The restaurant was an homage to California surfer culture. They had surfboards on the roof. They had surfboards on the wall inside. There's even the menu was on a surfboard. You could order pizza like the wipeout cheese, the awesome pepperoni, the bodacious sausage. And it opened in 2001 with this park. Right next to it was Burger Invasion, which was the McDonald's, which was still here. This part of the park wasn't themed after Paradise Pier or Pixar Pier. It was actually a Route 66 themed part of the park. Of course, when cars came in, that got rethemed. So today we're going to Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta which is themed after like an old timey amusement area. If you look on the walls, there's even photos of like old timey amusement boardwalk places. And they serve pasta and pizza. I used to love the raviolis here, but today we're gonna get the pepperoni pizza. This has tomato sauce topped with mozzarella cheese and slices of pepperoni. And it's $8.49, you can get a whole pizza pie for $42. Hopefully that would feed a whole family. The pepperoni slices here look a little smaller than the other places we were in the park. And there's actually some charring and stuff. This this is like the first pizza slice that actually looks like a real pizza slice. The sauce is zesty. There's a good amount of toppings on there. It's not like Alien Pizza Planet where there's like three lone pieces of chicken. Pepperoni is all over the place. And the crust is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. A four out of five beaters. It's good, but it's not as good as that flop over pizza in two town. I feel like the main difference between this and Pizza Planet is the marinara sauce. It is so much more flavorful and zesty. It almost kind of reminds me of Round Table Pizza, like their marinara sauce is kind of zesty. But I don't think it's like that much better. Like the, the dough is a little bit nicer. You are correct in that respect, but I'd probably give it like, I wouldn't give it a four, I'd probably give it like a three. <laughs> Universal Studios in Hollywood, hopefully find a good piece of pie. We probably should have said this earlier, but we're not counting Downtown Disney, Universal City Walk. It has to be pizza in the park to qualify for this And we're challenge. not going to Six Flags or SeaWorld, I'm sorry. How's yeah, it bring it in. Hey, how are you? Hold on, let me fix this. This has been bugging me all morning. I'm sure you understand. Half of the <laughs> Frankly, it humanizes oh, thank me. You. There thank you go. You, yeah. All right. Do you know if there's any good pizza here? Uh, I just head on down that way, but I hope you like Italian. Water, water, yeah. Water, yeah. Water, 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 water,
about 445. One will show to your left. Have fun! There's pizza in the Wizarding World, right? No? Oh yeah, you're right. We gotta go to Springfield and go to Luigi's Pizza. And I've actually never eaten there before, so I'm like weirdly excited to try this pizza. Right away, I gotta say I like this restaurant because they have a sign right out front with photos of all this stuff that you could order. I appreciate that. But I guess the real question is, is which one are we gonna get? We have four choices. I think maybe we could get like a veggie one and a meat one or something. Try them both. I like how the veggie slice is called the meat haters and then the meat slice is called the meat likers. <laughs> I like both, okay? Luigi's Pizza is based on Luigi's Italian restaurant in The Simpsons. That's where you see Fat Sal and other mobsters in Springfield hanging out. According to Yelp, this is the worst review of the pizza choices that we're gonna go to in this video. It's also one of the most expensive. Over at Pizza Planet and Boardwalk, it's like about $8 a slice. Over at Cafe Daisy's and Prop Shop Pizzeria, it's like $10 a slice. It's also $10 a slice here, but you can get a full pizza. How much do you think a, a full seven slice pizza costs here? I don't wanna know, is it a lot? $60. I mean, if you have like a family of five, I'm trying to rationalize if that's a good deal or not. It's probably not a good deal. <laughs> I mean, what if this pizza is amazing? Who knows? And I'm gonna try the nice slice of pepperoni pizza. This is a personal size pizza slice topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and of course, pepperoni. And the criteria of pizzas at a theme park. This actually looks pretty good. But does it taste good? God, it's so windy here today, my plate almost went flying. It's not like the, the, the sauce is amazing or anything, but it's like really hitting the spot right now. As for topping, look at how many pepperoni slices are on there. It's covering the entire pizza. I'm like Pizza Planet, I'm still like, I'm still mad at Pizza Planet for the three pieces of, uh, of chicken. This is actually not bad for a theme park pizza. Our friend Mondo swears by it. He says it's the best thing to eat at Universal Studios. I'm not sure it's better than the stuff at Wizarding World, but I'm gonna give us a four out of five Peters. And I ordered the Meat Haters Pizza. This is a pizza slice topped with mushrooms, green bell peppers, tomatoes, olives, and red onions. I'm not gonna lie, this one looks like it's been sitting under the heat lamp for a while, but you can never judge a book by its cover, am I right? Yeah, that's because there isn't many Meat Haters at Universal. I know, it's probably been sitting there like since this morning. They're like, ah, finally someone ordered this. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. There's a lot of veggies on there. There's like a bunch of olives. You know how much I love olives. Since it is so windy and we've been sitting here for a while, it is cold at this point. But, fun fact, I actually like my pizza cold. When we get pizza at home, the next day when I eat the leftovers, I don't even heat them up. I eat them cold, baby. This is good. I am so shocked right now. I think I need one more bite. Looks like Sideshow Bob is escaping and the nuclear power plant's going into a meltdown. I love this area. I'm gonna be sad if they ever get rid of it. This is good. So far out of all the stuff that we've had, besides the pizza that we got in Toontown, this is my second favorite. This, this doesn't taste like a theme park pizza to me. It's just like a little bit better than like your average one of the meal pizza. I'm gonna give this a, a four and a half out of five. This is definitely something that I think I'd get again. It is kind of expensive, like we said, but I mean, you're at Universal Studios. Everything's expensive. I just been into the crust and it is so good. It doesn't taste like cardboard. Maybe Mondo from Five Fires is right. This is the best theme park pizza. I mean, we still have to go to Knott's Berry Farm, but so far, this is up there. Do you think that all the, the gangsters in Springfield will accept me into their crew now? Now that I'm down with the pizza? No. You know, there's major rumors out there that now that Disney owns The Simpsons, Universal might lose the rights for the theme parks. I just like spending time in this land before it's gonna eventually disappear Should you buy forever. buy a pair of Crocs? Crocs? Yeah, they don't grow on trees. What? They don't grow on trees? Somebody what? I was like, is that some weird Simpsons reference that I don't understand? No. Why, why is there a croc on the tree? <laughs> That makes me sad. Where's the other one? 
I'm sorry. I was just videotaping her, and I saw the croc on the tree, and I was like, what is going on here? I was like, I'm a diehard Simpsons fan, and I don't remember that episode. <laughs> Happen. This palm tree is like swaying and all the dead palm fronds are falling off and hitting people in the head when they walk by City Walk. By the way, do you know there's a hidden Mickey in City Walk? No, where? So if you go to the sheriff's substation and you go to this this mural right here, you'll see there's a Mickey Mouse. Oh, never knew that. Last, but definitely not least, we're here at Knott's Berry Farm today to try their pizza. Hello, ladies. Can you tell me where to get some pizza around here? You look like a girl that loves a good slice of pizza pie, am I right? Why do they always ignore me? It's so rude. Of course, we're going to Prop Shop Pizzeria. The backstory here is it's a converted industrial backstage props and costume warehouse from the 1920s where actors and patrons would mingle after shows from the Walter Knotts Theater next door. And the new restaurant was built in 2022, replacing Hollywood hits as a walk-up pizza counter. What I love about this place is not only do they have pizza, but they have pastas and salads. And every time there's like a season, they have seasonal items. Like they have a bunch of stuff for the Boys and Berry Festival, which is currently going on right now. So we had to try one of those. And I got the Boys and Berry Ranch pickle pizza with bacon. I love pickles, I love pizza, but I've never had a pickle pizza before. There's a lot of pickles on there. Look at that. How many pickles are there? At least, at least 10. <laughs> Not good. Oh man, I do not like that. I don't like that. Why did I get that one? It has boysenberry ranch. I love ranch. I love boysenberries. Love pickles. I was like, pick out one of the specialty ones. You picked that one. Yeah, there's a few different ones. There's this one, and then there was like a margarita pizza with like a boysenberry drizzle. In retrospect, I probably should have got that one. The pickles don't taste good. They're not like dill pickles or those other kind of pickles. Not my favorite. The bacon is good. The cheese is good. We didn't just get this. Peter's gonna try a normal slice of pizza, so we'll get like the real honest review of this place with his slice of pizza. But this isn't my favorite. I would say maybe if you come during the Boysenberry Festival, maybe avoid this. I'd give it like a, a one out of five. And I got myself a pepperoni pizza. This is a traditional pepperoni pizza with cheese and pepperoni. Let's try it. This slice is heavy on the sauce. It's very zesty. Back in Massachusetts, where I'm from, they had this chain called Papagino's. I used to love their pizza sauce, and this reminds me of that. And it's crispy, a crispy crust. We've been here before, and I think we kind of thought that this was gonna be the best pizza, and I think after having all the pizzas at all the theme parks, I think it might be the best pizza. Really? Five out of five feeders. Like I said earlier, you never know what slice you're gonna get. And we were blessed with a slice that didn't have much cheese but had a lot of sauce. You can't be picky. I'm honestly surprised that you are claiming this as the winner. To me, personally, this probably gets like a three and a half or a four out of five. It's good. I think we just got some weird slices today. Like you said, we've been here before. But for me personally, I think my favorite was the flop over pizza in Toontown. This tastes very similar to that. That one just like, I feel like the bread was better and it was cheesier and more flavorful. And then a close second to me, which I'm very surprised by is Universal Studios. I really enjoyed the pizza there. This is not the best slice I've gotten from them, but I still think it might be the best out of any of the theme parks we've gone to. The one that surprised me the most was Luigi's Pizza. And obviously the one from the flop over pizza from Cafe Daisy's is spectacular. All the rest of them, I would skip. There's better food to be had in theme parks. Were theme parks meant for good pizza? Probably not. If you want good pizza, go to downtown Disney. If you want to see the last time we did this, we did it for the best theme park fried chicken. Put the video right over there. 
Tell us what food you'd like to see us investigate at the theme park. Yeah, parks. churros, ice cream, we're down for the challenge. And we want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Ben, Lindsay, Krista, and Arlene. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.